All right, guys, it is time for another one of my absolute favorite types of videos to do. This is the Battle of the Cities, where we compare city to city, area to area, to let you know who comes out ahead based on some of our pre-selected criteria, to let you know where the best place to live is totally unbiased. Today, we've got Temecula versus Orange County. I bet if you live in Orange County, you've considered making a move out to Temecula due to affordability. So let's get into it and see who wins the Battle of the Cities, Temecula versus Orange County. First up, let's talk about affordability. And I kind of probably already gave this away. And if you're anywhere familiar with the areas, you probably already know who the winner is when it comes to affordability. But let's talk about average sales prices. When it comes to Temecula, the average sales price for a home in Temecula is $829,000. When it comes to Orange County, you are paying a ton, ton more than that. The average price point of $1.478 million. That is a $650,000 difference. Oh my gosh, how do you do it? How do you afford a home like that? Affordability is already an issue across the nation. And then you come here to Southern California and we're talking about a $650,000 difference for the average priced home. Absolutely crazy. Obviously, I have to give the win here to Temecula for the affordability factor. That is a crazy price difference, $650,000. That's, you could buy two homes in Temecula for the price of one in Orange County. Absolutely blows my mind. Now, obviously those are prices as of today. If you want current pricing for either of these two areas, leave a comment below or give us a call and we will get you updated info right away. Next up, let's talk about entertainment or things to do. And this is normally where Temecula blows every other city out of the water when we put it up against others, but it's kind of hard to compete against Orange County. So let's dive in. When it comes to Temecula, what is there to do? You've got over 50 wineries, you've got the largest casino in California, you've got the mall, there's tons of golf. There is a lot of things to do, including Old Town Temecula with some fun restaurants and shops and nightlife. It just feels like there's a ton to do, especially for what you would consider maybe a smaller city compared to Orange County and some of the cities inside of Orange County. But when it comes to Orange County, there is a ton more to do. And like bigger names, you might recognize small names like Disneyland or Knott's Berry Farm, the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, my favorite team, although not doing so hot these days, but you've got the Anaheim Ducks, you've got the zoo, you've got beaches, you've got tons of shopping, the Irvine Spectrum, Fashion Island, you name it, they've got it. And Orange County also has a ton of golf as well. So there's a ton to do in both places, but overall, you know, in, in this case, maybe not totally fair that I'm comparing all of Orange County to just one small area of the Temecula Valley, but Orange County is gonna win for things to do. Although again, there's plenty to do in Temecula. Next up, we've got schools. Now this is important if you've got little ones that are gonna be going to school when you live in either of these two areas. And so it's important to take a look at these. Now, as you know from this channel, we use greatschools.org a ton. It is an amazing resource. You should check it out on your own. Greatschools.org gives you grades and rankings for all of the schools in your area, wherever you're looking, and will give you breakdowns for reviews and all sorts of test scores and everything that you can use to evaluate these schools. Now, for this purpose of this video, we take a look at schools above average. How many of those schools are above average according to the national average? For Temecula, that number is 73%. 73% of schools in Temecula are above average according to greatschools.org. And as we know from this channel specifically, numbers usually from seven, eight, nine out of 10 on the greatschools.org chart. When it comes to Orange County, those numbers are actually lower. 50% of the schools in Orange County are considered above average according to greatschools.org. So when we break this down by the numbers, Temecula gets the win for schools. Next up, let's talk about safety. The number one question that I get asked as a real estate agent when someone goes to buy a home is, is this area safe, right? And that is a great question to be asking yourself anywhere that you go because you want to make sure that you're putting your family in a safe neighborhood. Now we use niche.com here for some great statistics as far as crime ratings and things like that. So for Temecula, they have given Temecula a B minus for safety rating. When it comes to Orange County, niche.com has rated Orange County a C plus. 
So actually pretty close there, but Temecula does take the win. I do have to give some credit to Irvine uh, in Orange County, which is consistently ranked among the top 10 safest cities in California. But both Murrieta and Temecula here in the Temecula Valley are always close runners up to Irvine. So keep that in mind, both of these areas honestly are very safe areas. Temecula is actually known as a really proactive city when it comes to policing. It's run by the Sheriff's Department, but they do a great job proactively getting out there, asking questions of things that just don't fit in place, rather than a more reactionary type police department. So that is typically where they come across with a great grade as far as crime ratings. So if you would like up-to-date numbers on this, because it does change all of the time, give us a call, leave a comment below. We monitor all of those comments daily. And we'll get right back to you. Last but not least, we've got to talk about traffic. If you're new to Southern California, I've got some bad news for you. There's gonna be traffic anywhere you go. You just can't get around it. So we always just go, how bad is it? Let's talk about how bad it is rather than is there traffic? So how bad is the traffic in Temecula versus how bad is the traffic in Orange County? Now Temecula is known as a commuter town. There are jobs here. However, most people commute. They're gonna go down south to San Diego. They're gonna go up north into Orange County or even further north into LA to get to work. So it's a typical commuter town, but that means a lot of traffic during those rush hour peak hours. So if you are a commuter, you can expect an extra long drive down to San Diego, an extra long drive into Orange County or LA or Riverside if you're going to be commuting. And when it comes to traffic on the side streets and all of that, Temecula is newer, building, putting more homes everywhere, more apartments. We're trying to build affordable living here in the area. That's actually what attracts people to the Temecula Valley is the affordability factor. And they're just trying to keep up. So we've got the one main freeway that runs through Temecula. That is just the 15 freeway. If you were going anywhere outside of Temecula, you gotta get on that freeway to go north or south. And that is your only route because just to the west of us, we've got the mountains that separate us from Orange County. Now, when it comes to Orange County, a ton more people live in Orange County than they do in Temecula, which brings traffic. And that is actually where people commute to from other parts of Southern California for work. So again, you can expect heavy, heavy congestion as far as traffic goes during work hours, during those rush hour traffic hours. And again, with a larger population, you're just gonna have a lot more people on the road. You've got many more freeways, but all of them are packed. There is not a good one during rush hour to be on inside of Orange County. And the side streets are actually a little bit smaller when it comes to Orange County. So uh, I would say Temecula does a better job of having some wider roads for you to go on as far as traffic goes. Orange County being just a little bit smaller has some of the smaller side roads. So those can get pretty congested as well. So when it comes to who is the winner, who has the less bad traffic, I'm actually gonna call this one a draw because it's gonna stink anywhere you go, Monday through Friday in the morning hours, or in the afternoon hours, and then sometimes on those peak weekend hours, you're going to experience traffic. So I'm gonna call this one a draw. There is no winner when it comes to the traffic side of things here for Temecula person. All right, my friends, the time has come to tally up the score. You may have already guessed it, but who is the winner? Temecula versus Orange County. As we see it, affordability goes to Temecula. That is a clear, clear win. When it comes to entertainment or things to do, the clear winner is Orange County. When it comes to schools, Temecula gets the win according to the grades. When it comes to safety, Temecula gets the win there as well. And when it comes to traffic, it's just bad anywhere. So we're gonna say that's a draw and nobody gets the win. The total numbers, Temecula with a score of three, Orange County with a score of one, one category a draw. So congratulations to Temecula according to these categories. I know we all have our opinions on what is better and what is the weather better and all of that. According to these categories, Temecula takes the cake and beats out Orange County. All right, guys, that is it for our breakdown on the battle of the cities, Temecula versus Orange County. Temecula eking out that win over Orange County. Leave in the comments, guys. Tell me where you would prefer to be, Orange County or Temecula. I want to hear from you. If we missed anything, leave a comment below as well. As always, be sure to like this video if you enjoyed today's content. Leave a comment with any questions you have about current and updated pricing or statistics. We will get back to you right away. Those are monitored on a daily basis. Give us a call if you have specific questions. And as always, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Thanks for tuning in today. We'll see you guys next time.